Hello Desert Bearhawk fans. Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video, but this turned out pretty cool, so I thought I would uh, shoot a quick a quick video to show you what I've done here. Um, for those of us who have built airplanes or in the process, you'll recognize the Avery C-frame. And then what I did is I built a table to support my work underneath the C-frame, or in between the arms of the C-frame, I should say. And uh, this gives me a nice stable platform to do my dimpling. Um, I considered buying an RD or a DRDT2, excuse me, an, R2D, an R2D2 is what my buddy calls it. But anyway, a DRDT2, which is a dimpler that uses a lever. So you do it by pulling the lever down. And this one here is obviously using, um, using the old uh, three pound hammer right there. Or there's an adapter you can get to put your rivet gun on the end of that, on the end of this set here and drive it this way. But I'm probably going to just use the hammer method until my neighbors go crazy. But anyways, uh, so half inch MDF. Got some uh, poplar supports underneath there. You can see them. And uh, covered with some cheap carpet for the Home Depot. And voila, you've got a pretty nice table to do your to do your dimpling on and everything lines up. The carpet keeps it from getting super scratched up. Um, I shimmed up my, uh, my dimple die set and my dimple, uh, the male die, shimmed it up with a couple of washers just to get it to the exact right height I wanted it. This thing's all screwed to this table and then the whole thing's screwed down to like a inch and a half thick piece of old conference table I got at a company I used to work at. And uh, it's not going anywhere. The weakest part of this whole thing is this folding table that it sits on. But if you were to put this on top of like an EAA bench, oh hell man, that'd be, uh, it'd be forever for sure. And then all I did was 3M77 down this carpet a little bit to hold it. Um, obviously when I go to take this apart, I'm going to have to either locate the screws that are right here to get this top off or um, peel the carpet back. I'll probably try to locate the screws because I know about where they are anyway. So there it is. It's not a DRDT2, but it also didn't cost me $465. It cost me about 50 bucks for materials, and then I had the C-frame, which is just under 200, and I got the C-frame uh, in trade for doing a job on an RV7. So, actually I got the C-frame for pretty much nothing. But anyways, there you have it. It's not, uh, it's probably not the best, but it'll do. Um, so we're going to start dimpling some stuff here today and see where we get. I'll uh, give you a quick teaser on the wing. I don't know if you can see it, but basically the wing is sheeted at this point. And I'll shoot another video to talk about that. So there you have it. Make your own tools. Save some money. Have a good time. See you in the shop.